Hi guys. Alright, so I wanted to talk about Maddie's surgery. Just so everyone knows, she did not need to have, well, she still needs to have a surgery, but it wasn't done because they didn't do it. Say they wanted, I just lost it, of course. Um, <laughs> they want to do is a nuclear skin. It's very, very similar. Similar, see, I can't even speak. Uh, similar to the VCUG. Um, but I guess they wanted to do that one as well. I don't know if it, I don't, I don't really understand, but, uh, cause I guess, like I said in the video, the update, one side, uh, she has the kidney reflex. It's pretty bad. Um, but the other side does not, well, it's really small, but they want to do it with that. Cause I guess something about makes it clearer. I didn't really understand. But because they didn't do that one, um, then they were supposed to call us and see if we could come in over the weekend and do it, and nobody ever called us. So, uh, because of that, her surgery was postponed until January 17th. So, yes, it, um, definitely has mommy, you know, mommy has a little bit more time to mentally prepare, but it made it where she was at least home for her first Christmas, but, and I really don't want to discuss her first Christmas, I've kind of discussed it enough, I'm kind of disappointed in family, but anyways, I want to kind of talk about the actual testing, just in case if anybody had to have their child go through with it, that's why the title of this is what it was, what was the testing done for kidney reflux. Um, the first one was an ultrasound, which obviously it's like when we, we've we had, you know, ultrasounds on the baby. It's not too painful. Um, actually, Maddie was falling. No, she didn't fall asleep during that one. Um, but she was just kind of laying there. Uh, she had Tiny with her. And, you know, we had to get Tiny to stop making faces at Maddie because Maddie kept giggling, which then made her, the wand push up and... So, so it didn't bother her. She was not in any pain. Um, and then uh, we had to do the VCUG. Um, and what they do is they take um, a couple x-rays um, of her. I want to say, what is it? They take, is it the, the bladder and the kidneys? <laughs> kind of get an idea. And then they start, um, they take a, a dye, or is it just a liquid? Hold on. A uh, thin two catheter. Uh, yeah, it's like um, contrasting dye is injected into the bladder through the catheter. And they kind of, um, they keep taking pictures to see the bladder get full and full and full. Um, and actually during this process, this is the part that I guess can be uncomfortable for kids. For Maddie, it was not because actually she was falling asleep. Um, but we had the problem where they couldn't get the catheter in because she was so, so small. Because um, like they said, they explained that she's basically the size of, you know, a good size, new, a good size newborn. And they say typically this isn't done on newborns unless if they already know that there's some issues in the kidneys. So, um, and actually the first um, doctor had a hard time getting the catheter in. So we called in the, um, his boss, his supervisor, and she almost didn't get it. So, yeah. Um, so there's that. They filled it up. And then when it's full, they um, keep taking, you know, obviously x-rays, like I said, throughout it. And then they watch as the bladder squeezes, they watch the contrasting dye to see where it goes. And... What? It was her right side, the right kidney... You could see, and I could even see without him explaining, I could see the dye going up and into the kidneys. 
um, it was pretty bad. And but they said some people will have it where it will go back up, but then you know when the bladder is completely empty, it does empty out. And her left side, there's a little bit he had to show me, but when it's completely empty, it. The left side drains out, the right side does not, um, it doesn't go back in that fast. So, some of the risks to it is that it can, let me try, um, the discomfort, a new urinary tract infection, and a reaction um, to the dye, which can cause spasms. Now, the one that they want to do um, is very similar, except for Instead of a dye being injected, it's a, a radioactive tracer uh, and it's just going to turn her, it could turn her urine pink. Um, it's very similar to if you've ever had an H, HSG, yes, that that dye, it's very similar, so it's easier to see. Um, so, so that is scheduled for the seventh. Oh, which mommy is not looking forward to. <laughs> but, um, Because it's hard to watch your little one in discomfort. I'll tell you that right now. It's very, very hard to watch them. And I, you know, I just hope and pray that, you know, nobody has to watch this video either. Because it, it sucked. It, and it still sucks that she's going to have to have surgery. They kind of explain the, the whole surgery to us. Um, but right now she's on a, an antibiotic that seems to work, but yeah, so, uh, tomorrow, should I do tomorrow or Saturday? Yeah, probably tomorrow. Actually, no, I'll wait until Saturday because she has a doctor's appointment. Uh, I will do the full update on her. I'll do a four month update, but we did take some pictures of her four month update. Uh, for her being four months old, um, we did them just in case that she went into the hospital. Well, it was just in case that something happened during surgery. I wanted to make sure that I marked her four months. So, yeah, so I get more time with her, which is good. So, I'll talk to you guys later, and yeah, um, like I said... Oh, if you're watching this video because the your you know your child might possibly have kidney reflux, I hope it's you know where it will fix itself and that your child doesn't need surgery. And I hope you know you guys will be in my prayers. And if you have gone through this, you know, leave comments below so the others can read it. You know, like you know, did your child outgrow it? You know, what things worked for your child? But yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.